We're still, this Ken Turner from Milford, Ohio again. God has given me a message and I'm just breaking them out here. And I just appreciate you listening today. But God is moving. God is on his throne. And this thing's got a hold of me. Romans 9, 17. It says, faith comes by hearing, by hearing the word of God. And we're going to jump right in here to 2 Timothy 2, 15. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That word approved there to study to show thyself approved unto God is to be tested, to be tried. And there's things that we're going to go through in our life because we're going to be tested and tried and and we're going to be proved that we are a man of God. No different than what Job went through. No different than the things that Paul, the persecutions Paul went through. No different than the things that Joseph went through. He went from a prison. He went from a pit to to being a one of the second highest commanders in Pharaoh uh, Pharaoh's kingdom there. And he deliver helped deliver the children of Israel and feed them food. And it's no different. Study the show thyself approved unto God. A workman needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That word there means to cut straight, accurately handle. We have a responsibility to accurately handle the word of God. We are not to study the Bible to prove that we are right. We are, But we must study the scripture to see what God is saying to us. So many of us fall back on what, what the pastor's saying. And I'm not saying the pastor's wrong. We need to listen to what the pastor's saying when he He's preaching or the preacher's preaching or when the teacher's teaching and we need to listen to that but if something doesn't correspond with our spirit we need to seek the lord about it we need to look at the scripture study the show thyself to prove unto god a workman need that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth we must allow the holy spirit to lead and guide us to pray and meditate on the word of god and let it get deep down in our soul so god will reveal his truth to us. I tell you what, when God comes in and God speaks to you about uh, something in his word, it becomes live in my soul. Why? Because the living word of God is living and active and it will provide power through the Holy Spirit to speak to our hearts. It's up to us to find out what the word of God's saying, to be responsible to find out what the word of God's saying. God is on his throne. God is trying to speak to us and we must take time to listen to him. We must take time to study. We must take time to stop and just listen for God's voice to speak to us through his word and through teachers and preachers of his word. And we must examine the scripture and rightly divide the word of truth. God is calling us out to become men and women of God. And to do that, we must study to show ourselves a Proved unto God, and we must rightly divide the word of truth. Hallelujah.